hey everyone and welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of this lovely house it's a three bedroom house for rent inside a gated and secured community let's get inside i know a lot of you are looking for a rental properties and I thought that this would be a great idea to show you guys what a three bedroom house for rent looks like here in the Philippines also just a note um, this place has already been rented by of course none other than me and my family however I just want to show you guys this house because it will give you guys an idea of what a three bedroom house for rent is here in the Philippines and is inside in a gated community. First, you will see the big garage. If you have a car, of course, you can just park it here. But for us, we don't have a car yet, but we wanted this uh, garage. We want to turn this garage into a relaxing place and we wanted to put a hammock and a table outside because there's no dining room here so we decided to just make this garage our dining room just put a table a long table and of course some chairs alongside with it it is also windy outside we don't really need to use electric fans and if there's mosquito i don't think there's much mosquito here because because it is very windy that's what we decided about the uh, garage and now we are moving towards the balcony when we go up you will be amazed by the breathtaking view of the surrounding neighborhood and of course this is one of my favorite spots in the house because it, it is a perfect place to enjoy the serene environment <laughs> the plant fell off earlier that's actually a room the master's bedroom <laughs> so you can also see the highway from up here now we're going down because Mocha's barking I think she wants to come up but I don't think it's a good idea for a dog to go up into the balcony and this is the back back of the house and this is where we put the washing machine in case we have one and of course the gas tank then we decided to put a plants over there before it was owned by a foreigner I think that was their plant and he just decided to uh, leave it here we're gonna go inside the house and as we enter the house you'll immediately notice not really a spacious living area but of course it has it has its own sofa and i think it was owned by a foreigner as well i just don't remember but that sofa um we need to fix that because there's something wrong underneath it and um it's not really good if there's a lot of people sitting on that sofa since this house is not really furnished um of course we have to bring all our stuff in here to make it homey um, across the sofa we have the oven this sink a small sink and a cabinet right next to the kitchen is the first bedroom supposedly that is an office it's a very small bedroom before the owner um, used that room as their office slash um, storage area but for us we're gonna turn that one into a bedroom and also here um, you will notice that there's an aircon this house has three aircon uh, one located here downstairs second one was in a master's bedroom the third one is located in a um, second bedroom and also across the sofa you will see the first bathroom here they have a hot and cold shower so they have their own mirror of course the sink and 
we are now moving on upstairs. So here, oh, okay. oh my god. So here, the reason why we moved here is because it's very convenient for my father and also we have been dealing with water problem with our house and I'm not gonna go in depth about the water problem because it's all over the barangays. That barangay area has been dealing with that problem ever since. And of course, this is the bathroom, the second bathroom. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a hot and cold shower, but this will do. And this is the master's bedroom. It has its own vanity mirror, of course, the aircon. And right next to the window is the balcony, as you can see. And I reckon that's a king size bed. And of course, our <laughs> ever so nice um, cupboard. And it is very spacious, actually. You get all that stuff in there. I don't know if you can see it clearly, though. But yeah, it has a lot of space in it. There's some drawers over there. You open that one, there's another drawer. So this is the master's bedroom. And I'm just gonna go re real quick with the second bedroom because somebody's sleeping in here. So this is the second bedroom. And <laughs> I'm not gonna show you the ground because my nieces, they're sleeping. And it has an air canals also. Of course, my sister's hiding. <laughs> so, <laughs> This, uh, the second bedroom doesn't have a bed because um, I think only the master's bedroom has its own bed. So I have my bed at the other house. So we're going to bring that one this coming Monday because we're going to move in all our stuff this coming Monday since we got the permit already to move in. So yeah, I am so excited to move in this new house and of course, I'm just gonna be here for a few weeks, months, who knows really. So yeah, and if you're asking about the internet here as well, um, this house has an internet. I think it was a globe, but I'm not gonna rec reconnect that one because the reason why I don't want to is because of my brothers and sister. They have this addiction of sleeping late and playing online because of of course they have we have a Wi-Fi at home right so I don't like that and um, this house we're paying 14,000 pesos a month and um, we have to pay the subtage fee the electricity of course and the water bill and I don't know if there's a homeowner association fee something like that but we're gonna have to ask that one also, um, I really like this place because me and my husband have been here before but on a, on a different house and they were asking for like I think 18,000, 20,000, I don't remember the exact amount but higher than this house and it's also a three bedroom house so I'm so happy that I found this one and <laughs> also it's not me who found this one, it's my husband and he just sent it to me so yeah and anyways that's it for today's video guys uh, this is just a quick tour of our new home and take note as well this place is is a I think this is a one-year contract yeah it is a one-year contract so it's up to you if you want to extend after it expires so I reckon my family is gonna be staying here for a very long time there you have it, our three bedroom house for hand tour. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching these vlogs. I really, really appreciate it. Those people that keeps on watching my vlog, thank you so much. Stay safe and bye for now.